Marcus here's home in a homesteader here at the PC and homestead. What you're looking at is a window in the RV. As you can see, that there window is just chock full of condensated condensate condensate condensation of moisture. One of the things we've been suffering here in the frozen tundra. <laughs> Don't forget to keep warm with your hats and other warm clothes. One of the things that the RV has been doing is getting a lot of condensation on the windows on on uh, especially cold days. That condensation turns into ice. But on the warmer days, like here when it's in the 30s and 40s, I <laughs> them swarm days in Michigan for all my Texas friends during the winter. Anyway, this condensation or condensate is uh, not only on the windows, it also is showing up with uh, a lot of moisture everywhere. I mean, like wet. You put stuff in the closet, gets all wet, got to take it out, dry it, and it just gets the same way when you put it back. Also, that uh, condensation or condensate, the moisture all over the place can also start to uh, ruin your walls and uh, make stuff, uh, you know, rust or deteriorate, depending on what kind of metal or stuff it is. It starts to make your wood particle board or soak up a bunch of wood, uh, moisture and start to come apart. Just not really good to have this here much moisture in it. One of the things I'm learning is uh, I didn't really expect it to be this much, but it is because the differential in the temperature outside and the difference in the temperature inside. Plus, you breathe a little bit, you warm up your water for tea or coffee, and you get a lot of moisture in here, and it all accumulates on everything that has a difference in temperature and is cool enough for the moisture to come out of the air and hold on to. So it got even worse with insulation, or actually it was worse all throughout the whole RV when the uh, insulation wasn't on, but now that we got the insulation on it, uh, it's not as bad in the insulated end of the RV, but it's still uh, very damp. And then, like I said, these windows down here, are uh really bad and it's all over everything on this end especially but the outside walls is the worst and in the back on the whole rv everything's getting wet anyway so did a little research as you know <coughs> or may not know here at the rv the only electricity we got right now a couple solar panels and it's pretty not much sunlight and uh not much sun time here in the northern reaches of the hemisphere and the atmosphere in the winter time but anyway we don't get a whole lot of electricity and don't have something to run like a, a electrical dehumidifier did a little research gonna try some commercial products first a little bit of damp red i talked with my homesteader that's the stuff that she used had tried actually in these here bags uh, it's a little bag and the water, this, uh, stuff up here collects the moisture, comes down into the bag here. So, decided to give this damp red a try. Bought it down at Vinny's Asable Hardware in Oscoda, Michigan. Really helpful and great people. It's a do-it-best location. Vinny and his folks are number one A-OK. -okay. <laughs> do all my hardware shopping there but anyway this damp red i uh, talked to my homesteader she had tried it in this here little bag and also found this big bucket like i said we got us uh, some big old moisture problems in here uh so i'm giving that a try uh it's first day so far with that and uh it does seem to take a little bit. This here window is where that bucket was sitting below. 
and I know you can't tell it, I'm steaming it up right now, but this lower window is got not quite as much condensation or that whole window is this whole window is just like dripping with it. I don't know if you can see that because I can't see on the other side of the phone. But we're going to give that damper it a try. So far I read it. It's calcium chloride. I'm going to look into getting some of that if this does a good job. And uh, maybe make a homerific damp rid to get some of this moisture out here. I'll give you an update on that. I tell you the insulation's really working well. I appreciate all eight all you out there watching our YouTube videos. And I'll bring up as I run into different opportunities to learn as uh, we make the RV a livable place here on the homestead and uh, other antics and adventures we run into. Make sure to like our videos, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know when we put out new content. Make sure to share with your friends and family and they may like our antics and adventures too. Just saw you like update on property.